Here's what we're going to do. I want every strategy we've got on near-Earth object collision, okay? Any ideas, any programs, anything you've sketched on a pizza box or a cocktail napkin. For 30 years, I questioned the need for NASA. Today, we're going to give them the answer. Back in, uh, in 1974, we, we first got the, the idea, the, the possibility that a, that a meteor or an asteroid... I need somebody is, who's technically... had a little less caffeine this morning. Doc, translate. Uh, our first feasibility plan was to use a spread focus laser generator to heat the object to the point of fracture. That's like shooting a BB gun at a freight train, Doc. Uh, some of us have got this idea. We want to land a craft, deploy solar sails. You'll have a great big canopy. Solar winds will be caught by these mylar sails. Okay. Come on, guys. We got to come up with something realistic here. We got 18 days. That's 431 hours, 15 minutes, and 18 seconds. Time's a luxury we don't have. What? With the proximity of the asteroid and no prep time, none of our primary plans can work. Why don't we just send up 150 nuclear warheads and blast that rock apart? Terrible idea. Was I talking to you? This is Dr. Ronald Quincy from Research, pretty much the smartest man on the planet. You might want to listen to him. General, if you consider your target, her composition, her dimensions, her sheer velocity, you could fire every nuke you've got at her and she'd just smile at you and keep on coming. You should know that the president's scientific advisors are suggesting that a nuclear blast could change this asteroid's trajectory. I know the president's chief scientific advisor. We're at MIT together. And in a situation like this, you, <clears throat> you really don't want to take the advice from a man who's got a C minus in astrophysics. The president's advisors are um, wrong. I'm right. Hitting the rock from the outside won't do the job. Imagine a firecracker in the palm of your hand. You set it off, what happens? You burn your hand, right? You close your fist around the same firecracker and set it off. <laughs> your wife's gonna be opening your ketchup box the rest of your life. Are you suggesting that we blow this thing up from the inside? That's exactly what I'm saying. How? We drill. We bring in the world's best deep core driller.